Kafir Jin. Opening up our first point here, here we go. Callie Smith, Elise Jones on the near side. Georgia Johnson, ball in hand with her partner, Mari Humberg. Gonna be a good one. Rob Cassidy here joined with the Michelle Esquivel. Mari Humberg manipulating that ball well. Yeah, great start. You can see right away the strategy here from Elise Jones and Callie Smith is to dink middle, 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 middle. Keep it away from Mari Humberg's backhand, which is ridiculous up at the net. She has angles, she could hit that ball anywhere. Yeah, I think Mari Humberg's one of the best spin creating, ball manipulating players in the game right now. With her backhand especially. Nice. Little much there, ball is out. And she had a great run, Mari Humberg, and women's singles as well. She had a great run in this Kansas City Open. So great things from Mari Humberg. She's just excelling and improving every single day. Ah, Kelly Smith handles it well. Callie Smith, Elise Jones in that Utah State. They're both from the area. They get to practice with each other, and now they're teaming up together and see if they can take this one. Oh! Tough miss off the tape. Yeah, this is one of those nostalgic teams that we used to see, you know, plenty of a, a handful of years ago, and now it's great to see them back, both playing well. Humberg with that missed shallow Ernie attempt. That's what she's looking for though. And you know, she's always looking for creativity and winning the points. So look for that here yeah. in this women's matchup. Nice. When, you, when you say creativity, of Mari's right side to her forehand side, keeping away from that backhand. A little slicey return from Georgia. Ooh, Elise taking control. Yeah. Big bad Elise Jones. And Elise is also a great do, is doing a great job at mixing up her spots yeah. against her opponent. So she's seeing the ball right now quite often, and she's going to mix it up. Lob. Oh. Yes. It's over. That ball is gonna be out. What a display. <laughs> Can you talk about the perfect reset off of a lob at the baseline? Smackdown from Mari Humberg, getting it back. One, three, one here. Yeah. Oh, beautiful display from the backhand of Georgia Johnson. 
Michelle, who is the best Johnson from the Johnson family? I'm going to talk about Julie Johnson. Julie? Yeah, I think she's the best one. You think so? Who do you think? It's got to be Georgia. It's got to be Georgia? Well, those, are, those are the only two in the conversation for sure. But, uh, yeah, J-Dub's pretty good too, I guess. <laughs> the reason I love Julie is because I don't have to compete against her. And we could just, you know, talk about pickleball. She's been so great. I have had to compete against her. <gasps> Mixed age split at the U.S. Open. Best match of my life. <laughs> great resets. And there's that back end that we're talking about. She's going to punish that. If that ball just sits a little too high, she has so many different spots on that backhand volley. Yeah, not a lot of room for margin here. Both teams playing extremely well. It will be a game of inches. This is going to be a brawl. 3-3 here in game one. Elise Jones goes for a little much. That's a freebie. Getting Georgia and Mari that much closer to that infamous 11. Mari opts for the, sp for the slice again. Spin. They're handling it, but just barely. Georgia with an opportunity down the middle, and she gets it. Yeah, Georgia doing a great job at seeing that her opponents are targeting that middle dink, so she squeezes there in the middle and, and takes that flick with her forehand. Great Michelle, how, how important is spin in pickleball? I'll ask you after, after this point. Yes. Yeah, great play there. Spin is in very important in pickleball, especially when you're trying to lift the ball over the net on a fourth shot out of the air. If you're trying to slice the ball, it stays down, it stays low on your opponents. So applying different types of spins mm. is good for aggression, for resets, and it's definitely a part of the pro players' games. And then there's no spin on those shots with those flat balls, which is you know exciting when you see that, but it's all created first by all these shots that have different types of spins. Yeah, so good old fashioned hand speed and reaction time. And Mari goes for a little much. Freebie on the end of Smith Jones. All four ladies dressed in pink for this match. Yeah. I did not get the memo. <laughs> Super slicey return, Kelly handles. Some players can just can't handle it. Mari in full dictation mode, and Georgia Johnson cleans it up. Again, Georgia Johnson finding that middle dink and, and staying aggressive on it, um, showing their opponents that that's not a spot to go to. Yeah, and for me, it's how off balance Mari is keeping them with her variated dinks, really. Mari creates, and Mari ends the point. Yeah, Kelly Smith, Elise Jones, the number three seed in this tournament. Wow. And Georgia Johnson, Mari Humberg, the 10 seed. So The 10 seed. Mari Humberg and Georgia Johnson played in the round of 32, defeating Trangwin McLean and Jeannie Arokina in three games, and then oh, defeating wow. Leah Jensen and Tina Pisnik, the, the six seed, 11-4, 11-7. Impressive display here in Kansas City. And Georgia Johnson with an oppressive dink to Elise Jones for point. Two point game here. Three point game now, 7 4. Ops for the slice. And that is in. Michelle, it's almost like Mari has Kelly and Elise surviving her dinks, just trying to survive the dink rally, as opposed to being, you know, relevant in any type of dictation at all. And 
What a fight from both sides. The timeout is not effective just yet. Johnson Humberg on the nine with that incredible point. Georgia Johnson cannot miss the court. Yeah, they're doing such a good job. They're staying aggressive. They're playing their game. They're not, ent they're not enticed into the Dink rally. 10-4, game point. Wow, a bold lob from Elise Jones in a game point scenario handled by Kelly Smith to put him the second serve. Game point number two, here we go. And the relentless firepower from Georgia Johnson, Mari Humberg earned them game number one. Live here on YouTube. Nice, send your game two predictions in, get them in quick. Pickleball with Michelle. Wow, not only dictating the dink rally, but that was a very low initiated attack from Mari Humberg. We liked it here in the booth. So now they're dinking away from the middle and into Mari Humberg's backhand. So they might want to start mixing up their pattern with their dinks. Nice close from Georgia. ATP, oh. And it was missed just wide. Ball was out. <laughs> Call off the alarm. Lise Jones, nice return. Oh, and a whiff from Mari Humberg. No support from her partner. <laughs> Little lucky for Elise Jones and Smith. Let's see what they can do with it here. They need to put some points on the board. Ah, couldn't get it past her. Georgia Johnson's rebuttal sails out. One point game. Slice return. Kelly handles. One, two, two. Side out action. Yeah. Mari Humberg, so good. Really glad this Mari Humberg, Georgia Johnson duo was able to find and discover each other. It's a fantastic team and a formidable force here on the PPA Tour. Three, one, two. Jones finds an alley down the middle. I did not see that coming. <laughs> yeah, they're they're getting fired up here. They're finding energy, which is what they were also missing in game number one. So now Elise Jones is playing on the left, and that could change things up here. Interesting.
so good. I like the look. I like the look a lot. Elise Jones hanging in there. Now she's going down the line to Georgia, to getting it away from Mari Humberg, which she's been doing so well at setting up points. Drop. Forces the hustle and sets herself up for point. That's been a big play uh, nowadays here at the PPA is pushing, pushing the opponent so far back. And when you get even a high one that you could attack and continue to push back, they've been dropping that ball so close to the kitchen line yeah. and getting players on the move and utilizing the entire court. Yeah, that's the game, you know? And that's the number one shot I would be practicing if I had a ball machine is just that, that drop shot, especially, you know, if you're in a scenario where your opponent is at the baseline or even behind the baseline, put the ball where they're not. Great play by Mari. Callie Smith firing back. Let's take a look again here. Out of the air to the sideline. Strict fire. Oh. She had good patience right up until she didn't. <laughs> Forced that volley to attack. <laughs> good shot from Mari to deny it. The slice again. Mari Humberg with the backspin clinic here on Grandstand. What a recovery. That's the thing. Michelle, if I was on Team Callie Smith, Elise Jones, I wouldn't exactly know where to be dinking myself. Georgia Johnson is just a good dinker as, as Mari Humber. Absolutely. So they are making it work off the body of Mari this time. Smith Jones finding some life here in game two. Yeah, and, and like I mentioned before, they're gonna give something different here in game two. Game one, they started out with strategy number one, did not work. Elise Jones playing on the left and finding some different spots. Oh. Would have been nice. Yeah. Why not? Keeping Mari Humbrick honest on that side. 3-3-2, three, three, Elise Jones to serve. Great spot from Mari Huntenberg. Gotta love that backhand flick. And again, for me, it's her dinks that, dis that disguise her attacks. She, she commits to the dink rally so much that you really never know when she's gonna pull that trigger, and I love that. That is just good pickleball. Fantastic hands. Georgia thinks it stayed in. Kelly Smith calling it out. Kelly Smith reminding them of their right to challenge it. I believe we are going to get our first challenge review. And that will take me have to stand. Right, so the call stands 3-3-2 three, three, here. Third shot drive from Georgia. Fifth shot drive from Georgia. Takes the net and gets the point. Unstoppable Georgia Johnson, the freight train of pickleball herself. You've seen her dominating MLP as of recent with her skill and her energy. Whole new game here. Yeah! Miss Dink from Callie Smith. And a little momentum after that call that stood there. So they're fired up because they really thought that ball was yeah, in. Yeah, you see that sometimes. Yes. A call like that or a, an occurrence like that can stoke the flames a little bit, if you will. Oh, 
and they found it. They found the, <laughs> the uh, I guess you would call it the momentum and the spark. Yeah, Georgia Johnson is approaching her final form here on Grandstand Court. 6-3-2 now. Drop successful. Neutral acquired with ease. Elise Jones with the initiate. Yeah, and, I, and if you also saw there, they stacked again, Rob. They stacked again. So now Elise Jones is going to play the right side. They're changing it up. There was some momentum there from Mari Humberg and Georgia Johnson. So. Missed return. Nice deep serve from Callie Smith. Nice return is so good. Literally, there are players that just cannot handle that. Great point here. Lob, in, tweener, good. Volleys. At least with the scrape, Mari. Not over yet. And the miss drop, a point for Elise Jones and Kelly Smith, our best point of the match. That had a little bit of everything, Rob. Yeah. Let's go. I love it. That's a great pickleball point there. Let's see if uh, Kelly Smith and Elise Jones find some momentum off of that one. Greatness lies in the next point. Georgia, just minimal stroke. Certainly a game to study. And just destroys Kelly Smith heads up, pushing them to second serve. Smith Jones still down one. Smith takes her chances, comes out with the loss in that exchange. Johnson Humberg running away a little bit here. Lob overhead. Yeah. Kelly Smith with the close. We mentioned earlier 2023 is the year of the lob. 2024 is the year of the close. I thought it was the year of the fourth. That's true, that's true. <laughs> that's true, actually. The fourth has become extremely relevant. Almost as relevant as the third itself, which is interesting occurrences changing in the great game of pickleball. That's a great setup from Elise Jones. I don't think they saw it coming. Yeah, I, and I like the spots they were picking there. Um, there definitely was a hole in the middle. Just missed long, though. Just long.
goodness. The brick wall that is Georgia Johnson. Kelly Smith cannot penetrate. Side out. Back to Johnson Humberg. Gracious. Yeah, Lucy Kovalova, or sorry, <laughs> Lucy Kovalova. Callie Smith. I was looking forward to next match already, but uh, Callie Smith is just on fire right now. And when she plays like this, it gets really dangerous here, Rob. Jeez. Full control in the hands battle. Johnson Humberg getting it done yet again. Two point game here. Second serve. First missed shot from Georgia all game, I guess. No kidding. Oh my goodness. An important side out for Jones Smith, Team Utah. Yeah. Look at that angle from Mario Homburg. No one is gonna get to that shot, nobody. Push to second serve now, still down two. Smith Jones looking to tie it up. Ball did not come up there. Georgia Johnson fired up as ever. Mari Humberg giving props to her top spin for that quote unquote unforced error from Kelly Smith. Can Smith and Jones keep them to eight? Humberg cuts it off. Kelly Smith cannot keep it on court. They are one step closer to that 11 for match. Timeout called by the receivers. Welcome back to the Kansas City Open. We have a match point here on the paddle of Georgia Johnson. Off the net, handled by Kelly Smith. And a ball comes on the court. What? That's messed up. That just can't happen. <sighs> One of the most pitiful points I've ever witnessed in the game of pickleball, and the ball comes over. We're going to get a reserve here. Match point again, 10-6-1. Great ball from Elise. Holds off the first. Oh, and she missed. 
misses the drop. Side out. We were just talking about that earlier when you're seeing, you know, the opponent so far back and you want to do a drop volley, but that ball's too high to, to execute the drop volley. Um, it's not an easy shot. It's not a tough shot, especially when it's sitting up high. Tough miss from Callie Smith. Georgia Johnson seems very mo motivated to finish this match the way that they started it. <laughs> Mari Humberg questioning how she got that last shot back in play as it wasn't a backhand or forehand. Just getting the ball back in play helped out for them for their second opportunity on the side out. And that firefight once again. They come out on top and they do take the match. Georgia Johnson, Mari Humberg will be moving on.